So real quick, this is like a week later since the video that you're about to watch. It's all about the new bug spray I made. And guys, I've been using it and it works wonders. I'm so glad I hadn't published it yet so I could come and tell you guys how good it works. So much so that I went on Amazon and bought like in bulk all the essential oils that I need to make this. And I'm probably even gonna use it on my goats and my pigs and nothing is coming near me. I've, been, I've walked through mosquito swarms and not a single one and they like me. So watch the video, it works. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you've been following at all any of my other videos, which aren't highly viewed, but it's something that's important to me, is moving away from store-bought items where I can make them homemade. I have a whole playlist on kind of zero waste ideas. So I'll make sure to link that at the end of the video but guys, it is crazy mosquito season here and I want to get out and enjoy my garden. And we finally, after years and years, gone through all of the previous store-bought um, bug spray. So I'm gonna mix up some DIY, more natural, um, homemade bug spray. And I thought I'd take you guys along for that. Maybe you guys have these ingredients or it's something that you would be more interested in not having the chemicals and stuff right on your skin. So um, let me just talk you through it. It's quick and simple. You're gonna need witch hazel, vegetable glycerin, vodka or alcohol, um, and a whole set of essential oils. I'll walk you through those individually as we go through them. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just measuring out a half a cup of witch hazel. And I'm just using a repurposed spray bottle. So use whatever you have on hand for a spray bottle. I'm gonna put in a half a cup of water. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vodka or alcohol. and a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. Whoops, that's more, but that's okay. It'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So to this recipe, um, the recipe I'm following is from Wellness Mama. It is a wonderful blog um, for all kinds of make it yourself. She called for geranium. I don't have geranium, I'm using bergamot. So 30 drops of that. And then she called for citronella, but I know cedar oil is actually great for ticks. This is gonna be a really bad tick season, so I'm using cedar oil instead. And then from here on out, it's 10 drops of lemon, eucalyptus, lavender, and rosemary. Um, I don't use, I know you, some of you are probably um, essential oil gurus. I just use the plant therapy. It's an affordable option for me on Amazon. All right, so we're gonna shake these all together till the glycerin binds it all with the witch hazel and um, alcohol. Okay, let's just try some. Doesn't really have a strongest smell at all. Well, maybe because it needs to pump through a little bit. Okay, now I smell it. Mmm, that's yummy. Okay, so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark my bottle bug spray. I'm gonna set it right at the back door on my little credenza stand and I'll always have it now to spray myself down. Um, I actually might make another bottle and just keep it out at the garden since that's where they, I am the most and they're just gonna potentially get me. So I hate getting bit or chased out of my garden from mosquitoes. So another great quick option, um, ingredients on hand, didn't have to go to the store, 
not chemical based, all natural based. So some things you got to worry about um, putting on your skin that they test on rats and stuff. So if they're not testing it on humans and it's been proven that it's safe for my family, I would just assume not use it. So thanks guys for watching. Hope this gives you a quick and easy idea of another alternative that you can make it at home instead of going and buying it. Talk to you guys later.